your girl Ari coming right back at you with another video and today it is all about this curly Peruvian hair that I received from a hair company that you'll hear more about later and today I actually brought once again my mom to come and help me out so what are we going to be doing today? Uh, just before we start, I just want you to excuse my voice and get over a sore throat. So, but anyway, basically, um, I'm just going to be showing with the weaving of uh, the lace front wig, uh, just some little techniques. It's not big techniques. Uh, I know most of you guys know how to weave, but there's just some little tricks that you can, you know, learn along the way. And uh, just keep watching if you really want to see and if you're interested. Okay. So make sure you stay tuned and we'll be sharing. We'll be doing this like kind of half half. <laughs> Alright, so I hope You're you enjoy. You're doing more so much. <laughs> Not really. She did all the sewing. So anyway, you will see what's going to be going on. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch y'all later. Bye, bye, bye. Alright ladies, so I'm now starting off to just bleach the lace. This is my first time, remember this. So I did make errors. My roots did get bleached a little bit and kind of mess it up. But either way, you're gonna turn it around in this little kit that I had going on. I got it from my beauty supply store for like four bucks. And you're gonna stir it until it becomes a very thick, creamy texture. I still have to learn how to put this on without bleaching the roots because I had some blonde roots that I had to pluck out and some are still there. But anyway, I covered it with saran wrap and I left it there for 20 minutes and when that 20 minutes was over I simply just washed it out now to wash it I'm going to use my Shea Moisture products it's a shampoo and conditioner it's just the original one and I'm going to really really scrub this bleach out because I don't want it to stay and process anymore and then just make a mess out of my head so now I'm moving on to the fun part. I didn't show how I pinned it on the mannequin head because I did that in my previous video with my Moana inspired water waves. So you can check that out too. Do check it out actually. <laughs> anyway, so, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my throat. So I parted it like very, very thin, um, very small spacings. And then I just tweezed randomly. And I, this took a very long time. So you need patience. For this you need patience if you want it to come out perfectly so I just tweeze going in a backward motion and I did this until I reached the back as you can see now and then I switched direction so I started tweezing the opposite way and then I worked my way right back up to the front that's why it took so long and then it gives you this effect you see how it looks natural in space if you ask me I could have still taken out some more but an hour was enough <laughs> So now that I'm content with how the lace looks, I'm going to work on the baby hairs. Now, you don't have to do this, but I literally use like three different cutting tools just because each tool cut differently and I just wanted like it to match how I wanted it to look. But you don't have to. You could use a razor or scissors and I just kept on spraying with pure water. There's no conditioner or anything or anything and I played with it until I liked it. So this here is good for me. Then because of all the pulling, the tweezing, it kind of messed up the curls. So I put in that Shea Moisture Gel Souffle. And now my mom's taking over. So she is about to sew on the lace front very, very close together. And she's actually going to come on later and explain just the little tricks that she mentioned in the beginning. So in the meantime, I'm just going to do a little review for this hair. So the hair that I'm dealing with is from Alimoda again. It's a company on AliExpress and this here is their Peruvian Curly and I got mine in 28, 26, 24, 22 and the lace frontal was I believe 18 inches. It was a gorgeous length because I just love long extensions. I like short and long hair but long extensions is my thing you dig anyway so the curls are beautiful i must say it took me a while to warm up to them because i'm not used to this curl but i'm absolutely in love with them right now the only critique i have is that it sheds like crazy <laughs> when i was washing it and there's a little bit of shedding when you're outside but besides that it is beautiful for the summer i feel like it gives a nice summer look and if you're looking for a nice 
it's not really huge so if you're looking for it really curly hair but you don't want it like totally huge into like an afro i believe this is great i hope i'm not forgetting anything but if i am forgetting any specs about this hair you will find it in the description box and if you don't find it in the, in the ugh, if you don't find it in the description box hit me up in the comment section and girl boy i will respond to you i will all right so i think that's it for the review wait no i lied i forgot to mention that this lace front was a blessing okay it was easy to tweeze and it was way more natural than the other one and i forgot to say that yo this package comes with some lashes okay it comes with human care lashes so that's also a plus okay now i'm done repeat uh -huh. <laughs> i'm telling my daughter that when she's doing the and she's doing the weaving onto the tap to have a measure of control she tacks it measure tack and you just move all the way along it would make your job easier and quicker and more efficient because mm -hmm. yeah. it's literally like already flat for you so it's, exactly. like, it's not going anywhere yeah. the job is done for you already and when you reach to the end you just remove the pins you know, and I'm, I'm talking to the beginners really, you know, mm -hmm. those of you who are already professionals and you know you can handle the hair without having to tack it, you know, that's your thing, but, you know, for the, for the new beginners, this is something very good and efficient for them. It makes it easier. Yeah, and faster, Yeah, especially when you have an appointment like me. <laughs> you know, to she has to. like. <laughs> Can you see the time? Oh, it's not. She has like 15 minutes to wow. get out of here. <laughs> well, when we're finished, we're finished. Uh -huh. So that's it. Yeah. This one. So you do a knot every time you do a loop? Yeah, so just to give a good bit of reinforcement because we're sewing it onto, you know, a very soft net. So just so that it will not move. Okay, it will be nice and firm. And you'll see what I mean. See. Okay, yeah. It's nice and it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And it actually makes it nice and flat. Okay, so then you won't have like a bulking exactly. issue. Yeah. So because we only have two needles, we're kind of like tag teaming, so like mm -hmm. I thread the needle and then when she's finished, I just pass it to her so it goes faster. Since we don't have like 10 pre-threaded needles. And the next time we would for sure. Yeah, because they're cheap, like you just gotta go to the store and bring mm -hmm. it up. Yeah. Make sure you tuck when you cut. I want to make sure I tuck the end of it so it doesn't unravel. So the last bundle is a 22 inch. And what we're going to do here is single the wefts. So why are you choosing to single it at the top? Because you want it nice and flat. You don't want it to be bulky on the top. Before we were just bulking. So we double the tracks, but now uh, you want a nice, clean, flat finish on the top. And you're sewing the tip of it into the frontal? Yes, yeah. exactly. Not on the uh, frontal of itself, but just the, the edge where you would sew down the frontal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same band. The band, exactly. So now in closing, instead of doing the regular row in which we were doing, we would put it face down to just cover this spot so it would make it even flatter. Again, I'll use, I'll do my measurements about here. Exactly. 
perfect. I'll just turn the mannequin head towards me. Close it. And everything I'm tacking right now onto the uh, the cap as well as the edge or the band of the weave frontal. Super flat. All the tracks are flat. So I would leave my daughter to do her magic, <laughs> to do her, mm -hmm. to do her thing. You know, do I shouldn't thing. say magic, but <laughs> to just do what she's good at. All right. So Hi. this is it. Thank you, Mama. Now I can go <laughs> to my appointment. My husband came checking on me because we have an appointment together. So Ari, I've got to go. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so I is back and basically all I'm doing here is cutting out the cap but I'm being very careful and not butchering it like I did the last time because what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the elastic band because I can't find good elastic bands for the wigs. So I made my own and I got this from Tiara Monet, that's my girl on YouTube, okay? <laughs> so I'm, what I'm going to do is now just sew it on this side. I only showed you one side because it's very repetitive. You do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm just gelling back my hair with a toothbrush, fitting it, seeing where it's at. And as you can see, the lace is too long, so I'm seeing where to cut. And yes, again, I made a mistake and I cut too much off. But yeah, like you just have to measure to see exactly where you want the lace to end and then cut accordingly. So I hope those runs just blessed your soul like they did mine. Anyway, so I just cleaned off the makeup around my um, hairline and put some got to be glued. Not that you're going to see me continue there because I ran out of time. So this is the next day. This is why I'm, I'm bare faced and I'm sorry the camera just cut out on me so I didn't get to show you guys everything. But basically I just used a toothbrush and gel down the baby hairs that I made before just like you would your natural hair. So it's not too bad that you can't see everything. I still apologize though. So because it chipped out here I'm just showing you that this is what I achieved by using the toothbrush. And then I asked my mom to come and hook me up with some cornrows to just, you know, consecrate this lace frontal and just make it beautiful. I, I wasn't even planning on keeping them in, but then when she was done, I was like, yo, this looks hype stills, dog. So I kept it in. I actually still have it in my head right now. So this just shows you how real this this frontal is and how it just looks so good. Like the scalp looks the same as mine, girl. I am proud. Look at that. Look at them cornrows. Anyway, thank you so much for watching as usual. We hit 10K. I am so excited. Thank you so, so, so much. I won't cry. Anyway, um, I hope to see you in the next video. And of course, if you want some popping glasses, you've seen them, seen me with them before. My sister made a video with it before. Go in the description box, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm running out of breath. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.